Hello everyone and welcome back to Genshin Impact. My name is Sunbox and yeah, just jumping back in from where we left off last time. So we were doing our quests, the Outlander who caught the wind. So we did two of the temples and we need to do the last one with Lisa now. But something that I learned about last time that I didn't necessarily show in the episode is quite interesting is this wish feature. I thought this was kind of like a loot crate kind of, you know, microtransaction thing, but it turns out it uses in-game currency that you do actually earn in-game. So I figured what we're going to do is we're going to buy this beginner's wish. So it should cost us eight of these currencies for ten wishes. And I'm assuming it is kind of like a loot crate system where it's uh, you spend a wish and you get a chance of getting something. Uh, but we're going to do ten wishes. So, you, so each wish gives you an item. I got it. Nice. Okay, that's very cool. Oh, and we got masterless, masterless stardust. Currency used to purchase rare resources from the shop. Surplus stardust of destiny. Perhaps it can create new destinies when in large enough quantities. Nice. Okay. There we go. Cool. Right then. That's interesting. <laughs> what we're gonna do? is we're going to go on a bit of a journey today. I'm going to put on that. So we've got to go over to here. We're going to go to the teleport waypoint. And then we're going to go do the elemental trial. And then we're going to go to this statue here. So let's do all of this now. Here we go. Is there anything to do with these, I wonder? Maybe. Probably a fourth one somewhere. Oh, up there. Nice. There we go. Hopefully we can climb this one. <laughs> Oh, so this might be a bit tricky. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Uh, is this... This is probably going to be a problem. So let's jump down. Let's just climb up this wall. There we go. Nice. Nice. There we go. This is what we're talking about. Now we've just got to get up there. This is going to be one hell of a climb. But we've got to do it bit by bit. What's going on here? Freeze. <laughs> 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 
Nice. Oh, extra stuff. Look at that. Right then. Keep climbing. Okay, good. I was going to say, I'm really hoping that actually does level out. <laughs> okay, now we've got to climb up here. I'm hoping again we're going to find some solid ground to step on. Yeah. Hopefully this lets us stand here. Yeah, okay, cool. I probably should have held off on climbing just then. Okay, we, will, hmm. we don't regain stamina, which is a little bit worrying. But I think it's alright. I think I can make this work. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Actually, we're more than. This is good. This is perfect. Check that out a bit later. Lisa! Hey, cutie. You're going to help me out, too? How kind of you. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Why would a librarian be at ruins? Hmm. Good question. Well, because Jean trusts me. Okay. So you should as well. We'll see. Temple of the Lion. Here we go. Here we go. Talk to Lisa. I guess I could give this a go. Okay. So I think we're going to be playing as Lisa. Yep, here we go. I knew it. There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Can't do much oh, that's even cool. if she does. Good point. We'd better start looking for a way to get up there then. Okay. Let's ride this wind current, shall we? Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a bit weird, so she's got a sort of a charge up attack, so that's good to know. A lot of chests hidden behind things in this one. Okay. Leave it to me. Oh, Jesus. In the world. Okay. So I'm assuming that's just nothing on the ground. Yeah, it's just one of those lanterns that'd be knocked over. Okay, that was, um... Interesting. It's an Electro Monument. It might be. No wonder. Let me try to activate it with a bit of Electro Power. Stand back, sweeties. Here we go. Lisa's elemental skill can be unleashed by pressing or 
charge by holding. Yes. When the skill is fully charged, releasing it unleashes an area attack, dealing massive electro damage. Nice. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Lots of wanderers advice, which is really good. That's Taking a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, that's cool. When it comes to one enemies, I've got them covered. Okay, fair enough, that's cool. Another wind current, that's good. Oh, another wind current. Let's write it up from here. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of Rita, I'm not going to lie. I'm looking forward to checking out what she can do, but... Yeah, I'm not too sure about it. Chain lightning can be set off between electro-charged opponents. The electrical discharge caused by friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. You want to know about this gem? You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. Okay. It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. seen a vision just where exactly are you from are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence no i doubt it after all hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts and you you'd more or less qualify to be a magister's apprentice oh there we go this is the end I was expecting a boss. Head home and relax. <sighs> the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Okay, that's cool. Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. But hang on a sec, so we've done Falcon, Wolf, and Lion. What about the dragon? They are the four winds of Mondstadt, oh. affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. I get it, the dragon is in Storm Terror. That's the dragon his... of the East, yes. Storm Terror. There you go. Its real name is Dvalin. Dvalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this Storm Terror business. So mm. now you know why Dvalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. 
because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Why would it go to such lengths? Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hmm. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself, to become storm terror. Interesting. But why would one of the four winds hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh, as a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. Interesting. Mm, okay. There we go, we obtained Lisa, nice. I think that was ley lines on elemental flow, I'm sure. Go back and see how the knights are doing? Yes. But if you've got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. Yeah, By the way, yeah. we obtained another animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. So the plan here is to pull out Kaya any second now. I'm going to do a ground pound on this. I'll pull out Kaya and we're going to go boom. Nice. <laughs> Something tells me. Did that guy die? Oh, he didn't. Is he, st he still alive? Die. There we go. Oh, he dropped something. I oh, only dropped something. Let's also just grab some of this. Or or chunks, whatever. We need some of this. I'll grab some more in a second. I just want to get the chest. Nice. What is this then? Oh hey. Anyway, moving on, let's head over to the statue. So this thing here, how am I supposed to reach that? Ah. I'm supposed to climb up this. Am I going to be able to make that? Are these ridges going to stop me? No. <laughs> nice. I think I see another teleport way sewn up above, uh, up here, so we're going to head up there first. Oh, and there's a chest over there as well. Yeah, oh no, it's not, it's a pyro stone. Oh! This is interesting. Oh, not what I want to do, I want to pull you out.
Am I not supposed to use Freeze. that? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, there's another stone up there. What's that for? Oh, there we go. Cool. Here we go, Statue of the Seven. The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. Nice. Oh, okay, so we've unlocked this new area here. That's good. Oh, there's a lot of statues, isn't there? Jesus. Whoa, yeah, there's a lot of area we still need to explore. Okay. Worship statue. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, sure, let's offer you one. Sure. Oh, damn. Stamina increase, nice. Okay. You feel the blessings of the seven? In Mondstadt, people call them animaculae. Let's give it two more. Here we go. Nice. Okay, then. Some stories say cool. the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animaculi never had a physical form from the start. People with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. Let's climb the tree and get that one up there. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But then the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so keep offering animaculi and maybe you'll receive more blessings. You can count on it. Hopefully I can make it up this tree. Yeah, I should do. Oh, you can even see where the stamina increases in the bar. That's awesome. Oh, don't go off the edge. Nice. Awesome. There's another one over there as well. Oh, yep, there we go. Ah, uh, no, I, th I think I was supposed to get that from the tree. Or up there. Didn't think of that. Hey, there we go. Let's... Um, yeah, let's head to Mondstadt. Yeah. Right, here we are in Mondstadt. So, let's have a look. We need to sort out this quest, the Adventurer's Guild quest. There we go. So, we're going to navigate there. Let's go down here. Here we go. Is over me. Catherine, that's who we need to Welcome talk to. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. <laughs> You've had your eye on him, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? A bit creepy, isn't it? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. Okay. When I look at you. I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Oh. Paimon sees it too. Okay. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with him. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. Mm -hmm. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Oh. Do not worry. 
The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Give me the benefits now. <laughs> New recruits these days certainly do not beat around the bush. <laughs> Basically, the Adventurers Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Okay, so I can just go through each of the... Here we go. Nice. Awesome. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Very Here is good. your adventure handbook. This looks more like a marketing pam pamphlet. It yeah. is, in a way. But it has some practical uses, too. It okay. has a record of available commissions and rewards. And it is also proof of your membership. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, and one more thing. What's that? Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Okay. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. <laughs> they are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. Oh, uh, okay. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Ad Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss. Okay. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pop into our quest journal again. So we've got this new Wind, Courage, and Wings. I didn't see this one before. So Glide with the Wind. Let's do this. We'll talk to Amber. Where is Amber? Up there. Very nice. I'm seeing a lot of new things over here. So we've got... Yeah, I don't remember seeing these icons in the past. Really cool. Hmm. Actually, having said that, I think I might have seen them on the... Yeah, I may have seen them on the uh, the minimap before. I just didn't really pay attention to them. Hmm. Right, here we go. We're just coming up on Amber now. So let's go have a chat with her. Hey. Hey, Traveler! I've been looking for you everywhere! How's that wind glider I gave you last time? Pretty good. <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? I've been gliding illegally. Oh. A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. <laughs> But we've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way. The Knights of Avonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, okay. I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. Oh. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt. Then again, since Amber is the examiner... Maybe you can cut me some slack? No with a capital N-O. Uh. Do not challenge the authority of examiner Amber. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. We'll be fine. But we do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animo slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. 
Great. Come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. We have to study. Ugh. <sighs> the Knights of Favonius Gliding Manual does not sound like a fun read. It doesn't. Well, I guess I better get started. <laughs> Begin to read the gliding manual. Eh. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Oh, that was nice. Hmm, that's a cool story. But is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Reads like a fairy tale. Huh. <laughs> anyway, let's go find Amber. Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna end this one here. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you uh, want to check me out on Twitch, you can. It's twitch.tv forward slash sun underscore bucks. Uh, yeah, appreciate you watching. If you enjoy this, make sure to uh, give it a like. And if you're feeling generous, hit subscribe as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.